Have you ever wanted to put live chat comments on your screen like this? Or maybe like this? Well, now you can, and I'm going to show you how you can do it in a really simple way using OBS and a really cool Chrome extension. So without further ado, let's crack on. Everyone who does live streams knows it's really important to engage with your live chat. Why? Because it helps engagement, it keeps the content engaging and will encourage people to come back to your other streams and join in next time. Everybody likes to see their names in lights and chat is no different. And then you get that kind of whole FOMO experience, fear of missing out, people don't want to miss out so they start putting more comments in the chat, etc, etc. So it's a great way to engage with your chat when you're live streaming. Now there are some services like StreamYard, Restream, and I think Melon from Streamlabs that have this sort of baked into their systems. But they're either paid services or at their free level have their branding splattered all over the place or a limited 720p. Also, they're quite limited in what they can do in terms of streaming software. Now I use OBS as it gives me so much more flexibility, but there's never been a very satisfactory way to incorporate live chat comments on your stream in OBS. I've seen some workarounds, one of which involves effectively cut and pasting selected comments into a text file, and then that text file gets shown on OBS. Not brilliant, but it kind of works. And my good friend Rock, make sure you sub to his channel, he came up with a lovely solution that basically used a method of importing the functionality of StreamYard, capturing it, and then putting it into OBS. But while it was very clever, I did still find it a little bit too complicated. I found a much more elegant solution and it's super easy, it's free and works a dream with OBS. And it's basically by using a really cool Chrome extension. So shout out to Aaron Parecki who helped develop this Chrome extension for use with something else. What I've done is taken the app that we're gonna use, I've applied some tips from Rock and I've made it work with OBS. So here goes, let's get on with step one. Okay, step one. Basically you need to download the uh, Chrome extension. It's called Live Chat Overlay. It's fairly new, so you might not be able to find it straight away. So I'll leave a link down in the description for you and you basically install it. Now it will ask you if you're okay for it communicating with the YouTube and stuff, when you'll have to say yes, because obviously it needs to engage with the live chat. So all you do is go to the Chrome Web Store, Live Chat Overlay, as per the link below, and then install that Chrome extension. That's step one, great. Step two, you need to now go to your YouTube uh, studio, your live stream studio on YouTube. So here I am in my live stream studio on YouTube. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna go live. Now I've already gone live here. Make sure you're set to private. Yeah, because you don't want all your subscribers suddenly going, oh, what's, what's happening? What's he doing? Has he gone live? Okay, I'm not streaming anything. I'm not streaming anything, to, uh, any video signals or anything here. We've just gone live. Now the reason is, is because we want the chat bit. Um, let me just, uh, there we are. The reason is we want this chat bit here, okay? Now I've already put some comments in here, but basically it makes the chat live. So you can add comments like this. Hello, it's me. And there we are, your chat is live. Now the next thing you wanna do is you wanna pop out the live chat. So you go to the three dots here in the uh, top right hand corner, click on them, pop out chat, boom. You can see here, you've got your pop out chat and the functionality of the overlay is already working. So you can just select on a comment, there we are. Select any of your comments in the chat, add a new comment. Wow, this is amazing. Then you can highlight that comment. You can see the comments you've already highlighted are slightly grayed out and the ones you haven't aren't. Hello, it's great. And there we go. You can see the highlighting chat functionality working there really well. And what we're gonna do 
is we're just going to basically capture this bit here, this bottom bit, and import it into OBS. So basically, let's just put this window to one side for now. Let's keep it open, keep it to a size there so that we've got, um, it's going to capture all the script, uh, all the text that we want. There we are about that size. Now, once you've kind of got this, the size that you think it's about right, don't go changing with the size anymore. And you'll see why in a minute, you know, once you've, once you've sort of stretched it and got it where you want, um, I always think maybe about two lines. There we are. That's probably about a good size. It means you can get quite a lot of uh, text on there. Um, it will vary in size relative to the text. So if it's short, it'll ju you'll just see, hello, it's me in that gray bit. And if it's a longer piece, you'll see it fits in. So it, it, it changes the size accordingly. So it works quite well, but that's a good size. Okay. So that's basically your chat window with that Chrome extension integrated working automatically you don't have to do anything once you've installed the chrome extension it does it all automatically which is really really cool and now we're just going to import this into obs so let's go to obs now this is where it gets a bit complicated because we're going to go full inception as i click on uh, the obs screen so here we are in obs okay and what I like to do is um, I like to create a scene. Okay, you know, you can do this. You can just add it straight as a source into an already made scene. But what I like to do is create a scene and then I can drop that scene into any of my other scenes as required as a separate source. But anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a scene here. Um, I've created one here already called live chat screen, but just, you know, create one, call it live chat screen, whatever you want to call it. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a window capture here. I've already got one called live chat. You can call it whatever you want. Just put it in there, but I'm going to select an existing one I've got here and we're going to select it there. Uh, now, cause I'm on a 4k screen, it's really massive. So I'm just going to make that a bit smaller. There we are. Right. Don't make it full screen. I'll tell you uh, because we're going to be cropping this uh, later. Um, so you can make the sort of comments as, as big as you want. Now, what we're going to do now is we need to crop it down a bit. So here we need to press press the alt, select these little kind of little squares here. Press alt, select it, and then we can crop it down there. And then the same with the top. Yeah, press alt. Select the little red square, pull it down. Now, what you want to do is pull it down as close as you can get, really, without, you know, cutting into your name or anything. So you can have a little thin line of black show in there. Um, but there we go. So that is the box cropped. There is your chat. And then if I click on any of the other chat in the actual chat box over on YouTube in the pop out chat box, you can see how it just pops up those comments there. Lovely. So now what we want to do is remove the black. Okay. So the, uh, around the edges so that it's transparent. And the way that you do that is you basically add a filter. So I've added a filter here already. So if you didn't have a filter, um, let's take that away. Okay. So add a filter because what I have now at the moment is a black box. And we want to get rid of this black. So just add the filter. We're going to do uh, a color key. Press OK. OK, and we're going to go custom color. Select color. Now I happen to know that it's a pure sort of black. So it's zero, zero, zero. It's basically all the zeros. Is that enough zeros? Can't remember. Anyway, they're all the zeros. Uh, and that's all fine. Now, so that what that means is that now this should be transparent. Okay. So now if we go to say your main scene, now we've got it all cropped and lovely. What we need to do now is uh, select the scene that we want to drop it into. So we're going to drop it into this scene here. Okay. I like to do it this way because if you set something up as a scene, it's very easy then to import it into multiple other scenes. So what we're going to do is here is add scene and I've already got it here. So we're going to add the live chat. 
live chat screen, add it there, and boom, there it is. So if you can click on that and I can move it about, I can resize it. And then if I'm back into my, uh, I can just change the chat. So now I'm in my live YouTube pop out, the pop out of my live YouTube chat. And I can just select the different heights, uh, select the different comments, clear the screen and all of that. So there we go. Let's just get a nice comment there. Um, okay, so let's say I want it about there. That's all fine. And there we go. So now we've got um, the chat basically highlighting the chat there in the screen as you're live streaming, talking to viewers, or if you're playing a game, again, you can just go to the pop out box, click on a particular uh, chat or a line from the chat feed, and there you go, or just clear it by hitting the clear button in the pop out chat. And there you go. So I hope you found that useful. I hope you found it interesting. If you did, do me a massive favor. Please, please, please hit the likes because I like it. YouTube likes it and it helps people like you find content like this. And hey, if you are new here, do me that massive favor. Hit subscribe, please. And toggle that notification bell so you know when I go live with content like this. As ever, thank you for spending your time with me. and I'll see you around very, very soon. Thank you.